When packing for a trip, there are two things that are essential for me. Packing light and bringing everything that I need. Definitely a difficult combination, right? But I think I found the best accessories to bring on a trip with me in order to achieve my goals and I'm going to share them with you guys because, as they say, less is more. Before I dive in, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and i like to let you know that all links for the products that I mentioned here today are listed in the description. Also, I have dedicated videos about the majority of the devices that I'm going to be mentioning here, so I won't be diving into a lot of detail in this video. So first off, my go-to companion is the natural titanium iPhone 15 Pro Max. You've seen my videos detailing every aspect of it and my favorite accessory. So definitely check out the other videos about it here on the channel as well. But overall, it allows me to stay connected and capture important moments on the go. So whether I'm checking emails, updating social media, or taking photos and videos, it's great. Now talking about the iPhone case, next up in my travel gear essentials is Apple's silicone case for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and it's one of my all-time favorites. Let me remove Moft's wallet. This case has a sleek and clean look that adds a touch of stylish elegant to the iPhone. I really like how it matches the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And something I enjoy about this case is not just how it looks, but also how well it's made. I feel like the durability is really good. It feels nice to the touch and it gives my iPhone a good grip. Keep in mind that how long it lasts and how it looks after a few months might depend on how rough you are with your iPhone. I personally chose the clay collar and I feel like it still looks pretty good after six months, I would say. So yes, I love the way it looks, how simple it is, and it, it's basically my go-to when it comes to an iPhone case. Now, let's talk about one of my all-time favorite iPhone accessories, the Moft Stand and Wallet. This is called Movis, and what makes it so cool is that it serves a triple function, acting as a wallet, stand, and grip all in one. So let me put it on my iPhone. Of course, it is MagSafe compatible. So as you can see, it is extremely versatile because you can add up to three cards inside it. And then the um, stand aspect of it is really nice because it's very versatile. So it allows you to use portrait mode, landscape mode, and float mode, which is this one right here. I find it very convenient to have it on my desk like this because I can easily check my notifications. And as I already mentioned, it is MagSafe compatible, so you can attach or detach it from your iPhone at any time. I keep it on my iPhone 24 seven because this is how much I like this product. Now, another handy addition to my travel gear is the Think Tank Cable Management 10. This is great for keeping things neat and organized. It fits AC adapters, cables, flash drives, and the clear front panel makes it easy to see what's inside. And here towards the back, there is a card slot for labeling contents or adding identification. Right now I have two case to five accessories that I'm gonna show you in a second. Now it comes with three red whips and adjustable cable ties to help keep things um, in order. I'm currently not using it, but it is a compact organizer. It is practical and it helps you stay organized while on the move. And I will say that you can fit a lot inside it. So first, let me show you what I have inside of the Think Tank Cable Management 10. So inside the cable management, I keep all of my chargers and other essentials. So first I'm gonna talk about the Anchor Nano Power Bank with a 10,000 milliamp power capacity. It's super convenient and I love that it comes with a built-in USB-C cable. So let me give you a little bit more information about it. So the built-in cable is great because you can use it to charge your iPhone, tablet, laptop, and the power bank itself. So the power bank charges from zero to 50% in just 45 minutes, and your iPhone can go from zero to 50 in about 30 minutes. Also, this power bank is surprisingly 
small and lightweight, which is perfect for travel. And I've got the shell white color, but there are other colors available if you want to add a personal touch to it. Something else that I really like about it is that it has this display right here that it shows you how much power you still have left. So something else that is extremely convenient about this power bank. And here on the side, you have a new USB-C and a new USB-A port, so you can use it with your own cables as well. Still talking about chargers, here I have Cotabee's 20 watts charger, which has this um, small and lightweight cube design that I absolutely love. This USB-C charger is capable of charging your iPhone from zero to 50% in 30 minutes, and the retractable prongs make it super convenient for storage and travel. I usually bring this to charge my iPhone 15. Next up, I have the Anchor USB charger, also known as the Nano 260 five watts, which is a great option for high speed charging needs. So it is a perfect charger for your MacBook, for example. But what's really cool is that it can charge three devices at the same time, and it smartly distributes power between ports to ensure each device gets the best charge possible. Something else that I like about it is that it is compact, roughly the size of an AirPods Pro. So let's quick comparison. Yes. So this is very convenient to carry around. And I usually bring this to charge the other devices that I bring on trips, including my MacBook, as I mentioned earlier, the ultra human ring air, which I'll dive into shortly, my Apple watch and others. So this is a versatile solution, allowing me to switch cables as needed without the hassle of carrying a charging brick for each device. To use alongside it, I have here Cotabee's Charge Flex charging cable. This cable is six feet or two meters long, giving that extra length to reach where you need it. So much better than Apple's USB-C cable, which is only one meter long. And I like keeping it on my bedside table so I can easily use it. Um, I can use my iPhone while it charges. And the best part is that it's not just a pretty cable, it's super tough too. So inside it's made with heavy duty, extra thick wire and reinforced with strong Kevlar fibers, making it durable. And whether you need USB-C to USB-C or USB-C to lightning, both versions are available. So here this is. And just to finish showing the cables that I have here, I also have my Apple Watch charger and an extra USB-C cable just in case. This is actually the one made for the Ultra Human Ring Air Charger, so I'm bringing it just as an extra set. Now, this is the Moft Tripod and Stand, a recent addition to the lineup that comes with the same origami design that we all appreciate. This versatile product serves both as a tripod and a stand, and it, it is MagSafe compatible, so you simply attach it to your iPhone like this. But what's cool about it is that it elevates the iPhone cameras at up to eight inches. So you simply attach it to your iPhone and open the bottom part like this. Let me move this, these cables. And here is how it looks. So this is ideal for various activities such as vlogging, recording shorts or reels, live streaming, taking photos, attending meetings, and a lot more. Also, switching between horizontal and vertical modes is a breeze because you simply turn your iPhone like this, and that's it. So you can adjust the angle according to your needs. And as I already mentioned, it is MagSafe compatible, which makes it easy to attach and detach, just like Moft's wallet. Here I also have Case Defy's iPhone lanyard, which is a great accessory to keep your hands free and your iPhone secure. It has an adjustable buckle and it can, it can stretch up to 56 inches, a quick release buckle, multiple loops for holding other accessories. So if you want to put your keychain right here, attach your keychain, you can. And it has this rotating carabiner, which prevents the strap from getting in the way. To use it, you need this strap card. 
and you will put it in between your iPhone and case. So let me show you how you do this right now. It's super easy. So something nice about it is that you can use any iPhone case that you might have. You don't need to buy in a specific case to use this accessory. So you just put it inside your iPhone in case like this. And now you have a compatible iPhone case um, compatible to the lanyard. And then you just grab this right here and attach it to the loop. And to give you an example, one situation that I really like to use this strap is on the airplane. So let's say you want to sleep, but you don't want to put your iPhone away. You can simply put it around your neck like this, and then you can put your iPhone to the side, maybe inside um, in between you and your jacket, for example, and then there's no risk of you losing your iPhone on the plane because I'm sure you don't want that to happen. Now let's go back to the Think Tank cable management. Here I have my AirPods Pro second generation. And when it comes to recommending you guys an accessory to buy after purchasing an iPhone, my top choice is always the AirPods Pro 2. The AirPods Pro first generation also work. So these earbuds offer incredible noise cancellation, creating an immersive audio experience. The transparency mode is another standout feature that I love, allowing you to stay aware of your surroundings when needed. And it's worth noting that this is the second generation with the lightning connector, as you can see right here. But if you prefer the USB-C, the newer version is already available. And alongside it, I'm using Kata B's Mezzo AirPods case, and I've linked it down below in the description as well in case you're interested. And the last item is just a adapter that I don't need to talk about right now. So as you can see, I can fit a lot of items inside of this cable management by Think Think, and I really like this. So now I'm gonna just store everything back inside. And this is how it looks. I really love this pouch. Now, let me talk about Ultra Human Ring Gear. This wearable is something special. It is the thinnest, lightest, and most comfortable wearable in the market. And it's fantastic for several things like tracking your sleep, getting insight into your heart rate variability, monitoring your movement index, and more. So if you're interested, I've got a discount code for you guys, and I've included the link down below in the description. I have a lot of other videos talking about it here on the channel because I have been completely in love with this ring. So make sure to check it out in case you haven't watched it yet. Now, you already saw that I have my Apple Watch charger inside of this bag right here, but here is the Apple Watch. This is the Apple Watch Ultra. I also bring it with me on my trips, and here I have it paired with the Olive Alpine Loop Band. And what stands out the most to me about this Apple Watch is its durability and battery life. Compared to my previous Apple Watch, the Series 8, the Ultra 2 has really stepped up its game in these aspects. So I find it very reliable for keeping up with my daily activities without having to be constantly worrying about charging. And this is a great bonus when traveling too. Next up, my Kindle. I've been wanting a Kindle since forever and I finally purchased my first one last Black Friday and I'm really happy with it. This is the Kindle Paper White Signature Edition. So I'll just share something that I love about the Kindle and it goes well with traveling. Portability. It's kind of obvious that it's a lot more portable than physical books, but for some reason this blew my mind even more after I started using it. So I literally take it everywhere, on trips, to the gym, to read while I do some light cardio. If I'm going somewhere far away, I bring it with me in the car to read in case there's traffic, when I'm a passenger, obviously. So it's great, super thin and lightweight. Next. AirTags. I've been using an AirTag on my keys since the release, but I really like tracking my suitcases when traveling. 
This is good because I can make sure they're also on the plane with me and not left behind. But of course, you can use it to track your suitcases, keys, backpacks, bikes, whatever you need. And then you simply use the Find My app on your iPhone or any iCloud service to find them. Now to track your keys, for example, you do need an AirTag holder. So I want to show you this one by Orbit Key because I feel like they have the coolest tag organizational items. So I've been using this Slim case for the AirTag alongside the Ring V2, which is this right here. So this is a great combo in my opinion. And then I have three extra air tags that I put inside my checked bag, inside my carry on and another one inside of my tote bag or backpack. And last but not least, I will bring my favorite MacBook of all time, the M2 13 inch MacBook Air. I had the first model released in 2018 and already fell in love with it then. And the main things that I love about the 13 inch MacBook Air is the portability and design. Also, before you ask, here I have a clear case, which prevents scratches. So you don't have to be constantly worrying about where you use your MacBook, especially if you have the habit of working in coffee shops or other places outside of your own office or home. You never know how clean the tables are. So this is the clear case that I use and I'm currently on the fence. I'm trying to decide whether or not I will bring this sleeve because of course it will add more weight to my backpack. But while I'm thinking, let me show you because this is talk, this is called Tech Folio and it is made by Grams28. It is chic and practical. It is made of a great quality Italian leather and inside you find organizational pockets. And there's also an air tag pocket that is kind of hard for me to show you right now. So here I usually keep my MacBook's charger and a power adapter because um, actually an adapter because here in Brazil, this is the outlet that we have. So yeah, I need adapters everywhere. So I usually keep the MacBook right here. It's so good. And I close it. And there's also this outside pocket that you can put a notepad, a candle, anything you might need. They even included my monogram and I love personalized items. So this is definitely a plus. And this is the gray option, but it's available in four different colors. And these are the tech items that I bring with me on my trips. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget that all links are listed down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.